Yo, what's up, guys? It's Dan and Mike Bo. And today we want to come at you guys with some back to school advice for incoming students in college. This video is brought to you by McDonald's, who is a big supporter of education. I want to make sure you have some tips for college. So I went to San Diego State. I went to NYU. And uh, we both graduated. Yeah. Uh, Mike, how was the experience for you? It was great. It was a big period of growth and where I learned what passions I wanted to pursue in the future. And hopefully the experience is the same for all y'all. All right, guys, it's time for some tips. It's time for some back to school advice from Mike and I to get you guys going. Tip number one, don't get distracted. Don't look at your finger, Mike. What? What? What do you mean? Don't get distracted. In this day and age, there's so many more distractions with social media, Instagram, everything. Set a goal, focus on it. They'll be there. All that fun stuff will be there when you're done with your homework. Tip number two, get involved, join organizations, join intramurals, do something on campus. I think this tip is super important. I was involved with student government, uh, specifically hall government in my dorm. That was really fulfilling to me because I got to meet people outside of my major, people that lived in my dorm building. I got to form relationships that I have to this day. And besides that, some, some parents are kind of against getting involved because they think that it is gonna be distracting. Mm. But I would argue that actually it's really good for networking mm. and you can find people that have maybe similar classes as you and so you can use them to help study. Tip number three, get to know faculty. Get to know faculty. It's so important. I remember when I first got into college, one of the first things I did was I got to know the teachers and the people that were involved. Uh, one, that allowed me to find extra opportunities to be able to hopefully mm. just learn more from them. And so they have the resources, they have the connections. Yeah. And for me, again, it's all about like just meeting the right people and getting in. And so yeah, get to know your faculty. They'll help you take your lessons to that next level. Tip number four, stay healthy, which means getting sleep, eating correctly, and exercising. Woo! This is an important one. There's this little thing called the freshman 15. Look, you don't have the high school metabolisms anymore. You know, it's slowing down a little bit. Utilize the school's gyms. They're free. Outside of school, you gotta be paying for them. Right now you got a free gym membership. Use it. Do some cardio, but lift some weights for show. Uh, college is actually where I first learned about nutrition and exercise and everything. Start there because after college, everyone's gonna be worrying about nutrition and exercise and you'll have a leg up and you'll be able to actually function and go to your classes. Sleep is also very important. Exercise, sleep to recover. It's like driving a car. You need to fill the car up with gas before you can drive. Don't just run on empty and suffer and crash. Tip number five, find a mentor. Yes, finding a mentor is super important. You could either find somebody that's actually still going to school, or maybe it could be one of your faculty members, mm -hmm. or maybe it could be somebody outside of school. But it really just is somebody that you feel like you vibe really, really well with, and that could hopefully help you in your career and your studies as you, uh, as you progress. Tip number six, take advantage of all the free resources. Let me tell you, there are so many free resources in college that you're gonna wish you took advantage of. You got a free gym, you got free tutoring, you got a free health center. Go visit those locations, find out what their office hours are, figure out what they are offering, and really take advantage of it. We know college is very expensive, so we wanna make sure you're taking advantage of all the free resources. And there's free movies sometimes mm -hmm. with free pancake dinners. Use those student discounts. Yes. Tip number seven, get to know your community and volunteer. I'm sure that some of you guys are gonna be going off to college and it'll be a brand new experience, a brand new city that you're living in. And so my biggest piece of advice for you is make sure you get to know the community and what better way to get to know the community than by volunteering. So through that, hopefully you can find some great people that will be lifelong friends, but then also you're doing some great stuff for your city too. Tip number eight, be yourself. This isn't high school anymore. We have to blend in and be like everybody else. In fact, college is a place where they encourage you to be unique. And being your own unique self will create an originality that blending in won't create. And don't get us wrong, being unique isn't a bad thing. It's a really, really great thing. Me and Mike were really unique in college and it has allowed us to, I think, pursue what we were really interested in and uh, become the, the, the men we are now. Heck yeah. Yes. Lean into that weirdness. If you're into anime, you watch that anime. Yeah. If you like superheroes, read those comics. Yeah. Number nine, take chances. In college, you have a lot of opportunities to fail. Actually, it shouldn't be take chances, it should be fail and fail hard. Yes. Because for me, I remember when I was in college that there were a lot of times when I failed and that I had to go through a lot of different situations where I had to really figure stuff out on my own. Mm. And through that, sometimes you're not successful. But that's totally okay because you learn from those mistakes. Failure isn't the opposite of success, it's part of it. Mm. 
So yeah, that's good. You learn more from failures than succeeding. Mike wrote that quote. I did not write that quote. <laughs> Quoth Mike. And tip number 10, enjoy, enjoy the, the experience. experience. In the end of the day, we're just jealous because it's so much fun in college. You're gonna have so much fun. It really is. It's one of those once in a lifetime opportunities that you, uh, you just really just need to take in fully. It's truly where you learn about yourself. And I know that we've been talking a lot about like self-learning, but this really is a chance for you to learn about what it is you want to do. There's so many things from math to science to history to art. These are things that are really going to help you, I think, make your impact on the world. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our college tips. I'm really excited for your journey. Yes, I am very jealous because I know that there's a lot of really amazing things that you are about to experience. So much reminiscing. So much reminiscing. So hopefully you enjoy it, take advantage of it, and uh, most importantly, you learn a lot. We want to thank McDonald's for continuing their support of education and giving us the opportunity to give advice like this. It uh, just allows us to reminisce a little bit, to hopefully give you guys something that uh, you can learn from too. Make sure to follow us online. My name is Mike Bow. My name is Dan. See you later.